Okay, now I'm going to demonstrate how the color select mode works. Um, my hope was to have a lightsaber that I could change the color of without having to take it apart or reprogram anything or change resistors or use dials or potentiometers or you know, anything like that. Um, when this is all put together, it'll be a very simple, uh, very simple exterior with just the kill plug and the and the button will be the only controls on the whole lightsaber. Um, we do uh, to get the color change mode. Uh, what I did was I I added a whole mode for color change. Um, when it's in idle, in off state, the LED accent LED will just blink. But if you go to color change mode. You get there by holding in the button for 10 seconds. Okay, and then it comes on. I'll uh, show you the blade. See, the blade is on, but there's no sound. And that's intentional because uh, we're in configuration mode now. And the, uh, the X and LED blinks a little faster now uh, than it did when it was in idle. Uh, in the off state. So when you're in this state you can change a few different things. Uh, two, two things actually. Um, you can see right now I've got kind of a green color blade and it's uh, it's strobing. Uh, it's got that kind of slow pulse strobing effect. Uh, camera's sort of picking it up. Um, if you give it a tap I right, see so now that you get kind of a fast flicker effect. That's solid on. And that's kind of an ambient flicker. This is actually my favorite. Um, it doesn't look that great on camera, but it, it looks good in real life. Uh, so you can, you can pick the uh, blade flicker style among those. And then to change the color, just push the activation switch. And there's a, I programmed it with 116 different colors, uh, so some of them are very close to each other and it's hard to tell the difference, uh, especially if you're looking at the emitter with the camera. But now you can see we're getting into some more blues, kind of a cyan color. There's more blue. And more and more blue. Now it's starting to become kind of purple. So mixing in some red. There's your purple. Getting more into a pink. And now we move on to the red. Now these are shades of red. Uh, I, I had it mix in some of the other colors at the end so you could have like a, a faded red, green, or blue if you wanted to. So this is kind of a pinkish red color. And then now you're down to green with a little bit of white mixed in. And same thing with the blue. A little bit lighter color blue, lighter, lighter still. And then this pretty bright blue, it actually looks pretty good on camera. And this is white, uh, which is all the LEDs uh, driven at about 85% duty cycle. And then back to red. So, when you pick a color you want, let's just pick something that mixes multiple colors. We'll pick like this amber orange color. Let's say that's the color you want. Then hold in the button for 10 seconds. Then when you release it, it turns off, then you turn on. It remembers your color and your flicker settings.
Here you go.